down. Let's move down a step. 138 billion down to about 40, I think, is the number. And here we're talking about Breit. Okay, this one used to be a private equity group, did a bit of a gear change a couple of years ago, but its core assets was a big stake in Pepco, which is about to convert to a stake in Steinhoff. That'll be under discussion in a minute. Big interest in Premier Foods and then something called Iceland Foods, which is based in the UK. So the Steinhoff deal is in the progress. We'll tease that theme out in a minute. But John Nodder and his colleagues uh, sit on top of a group which is pretty substantial. 40 billion, there you go. 40.6 billion rands worth of market cap. Price to earnings ratio, tricky one to fix because it's really more of an investment holding entity, the sum of the parts, but I'm seeing there 15.9. Dividend yield, it's indicating not applicable. I can't remember if they paid dividends or not, probably not. So just tell me if I got that right, JP. Transition going on, Pepcor, that gets bought out and replaced with Steinhoff shares, which initially the market didn't like because it liked the upside in the Pepcor, but it seems to have sort of gotten over itself. Yes, and the Steinhoff share has been going up, so uh, that's quite good for Breit. Yeah. They, they get 200 million Steinhoff shares um, and some cash, about 15 billion of cash as well. So the Steinhoff shares are worth about 13 and a bit billion currently. Mm -hmm. The cash is worth, after tax, also around 13 and a bit billion. And then they have the Premier Foods uh, stake, which is also around that number. So on a per share basis, you're looking at about 25 rand a share for the cash. Yeah. 25 rand a share for the Steinhoff shares, 25 rand a share for the Premier, uh, for, uh, the premier Group, um, and then the other bits, Iceland mm -hmm. Foods and a few small operations, mm -hmm. which brings you another 5 to 10 rand per share. So it's trading at roughly a 10% discount to the sum of its parts. Okay. But the big issue here is what are they going to do with the cash? Mm. 15 billion rand of cash, what's the plans? Yes. Because talking to John, although I haven't seen him now for about a year or so, in the past they indicated that they had been bidders for, for example, the Food Corp asset which got acquired by RCL. So my sense was that they were in that sort of consumer branded foods and other areas. They bought Lilettes, the female hygiene company. Uh, they have the interest in Iceland with other parties. They might get a little bit more there. So you don't think it's likely they're going to let a whole, you know, burn with the pockets in the cash you know but having said that it's not an uncompetitive landscape there are plenty of other players out there i know the coast to coast groups also acquiring assets in that space so you know it's not like that's a secret area so i guess i must put the question then back to you what do you think they're going to do with the cash it is a tricky question interest rates are also low so debt is cheap so a lot of other guys might not have the cash but they do have the lines of debt, uh, the facilities from banks mm -hmm. to also make big transactions. So I don't know, if you look at the size of the cash on the balance sheet, the only retailer that comes to mind locally is Edgar's, Edcon. Mm -hmm. um, but that group has its own issues. Mm -hmm. We don't think the debt holders might want to go and, and, and uh, give up a lot of their, their um, site value of yep. their debt and take a haircut. So it's a difficult one. Mm -hmm. I don't think there are enough large transactions that they can do unless they look maybe at the listed space, maybe do a buyout of a listed retailer. Uh, but then again, valuations are quite lofty. Yeah. Uh, so it's a cash 22 situation where they would prefer that markets drop, valuation levels drop, but they still sit with cash and that'll be great. Mm. But is their share, a shelling base going to be patient enough to wait for that? Maybe not. Yeah, and as we know, the Breit team is quite closely intertwined their fortunes with that of Christo Visa because Christo Visa is a big Breit shareholder. He's been the handmaiden, so to speak, of this new deal with Steinhoff. The question of ShopRite sort of remains in the back of many people's minds, but that again is a very big asset. Okay, so what we have here now is a share price which took a bit of a knock. It has recovered back to the sort of 80 rands a share level. I think that's where it is, yeah. So how are we going to call this one, hot or not? So here the discount is around 10%, mm. even less than we grow. So once again, not great. And part of the discount is on cash, not an operating asset yet. Mm. So there is a bit of a premium in for what, they, for what they might do with the cash going forward. I would rather wait and see what they're mm. going to do with the cash. So in this case, even though there is quality, I would say not hot. Mm. Okay, interesting. I'm somewhat uh, tempted to go, and I think I'm going to go with hot just on account of the track record that the boys over there have, um, John and Bruce and some of his colleagues.